Most people in the social media spotlight will either tend to stay away from the subject completely or maybe agree with the crowd um, because they don't want to lose popularity. However, that's not me. Um, I'm so saddened to wake up this morning and to see what's happened in Manchester and I can't begin to imagine um, what the loved ones and the friends of those that have died um, will be feeling today. At the same time, I can't stop thinking about the people that are going to wake up today with a load of abuse um, and bullying for something that they have know nothing about um, and have not even been a part of. Let's try today to um, to keep the words terrorists and Muslims out of the same sentence. These people aren't fucking Muslims. They're terrorists. Um, they try to portray themselves as Muslims, but they're not. I've seen uh, documentaries on them preaching hatred in town centres. Um, I've seen them trying to do that and set up stalls outside mosques where the actual Muslims praying inside the mosque are none the wiser. And when they've come out, they've even attacked and, and, and started hatred towards them. They, they're cowards. That's all they are. And haters. And just like any other coward and any other hater that can't fight their own battle, what they do is they instigate, instigate trouble between others. Us and them. Let's put it like that. And when I say us, I mean us that are born here in the UK. Muslim or not, that's us. And these people, these fundamentalists that are causing trouble between us, they're making us turn on each other. And that is something that we must not do. We, um, there's some poor kid that's going to go to school today that's going to get abuse picked on, bullied over what happened last night. There's some dad that's going to go to work today and he's going to be frowned upon. And there's some mum that's going to go to work today and she's going to get shouted out in the street because of what she chooses to wear. All because of their faith. Um, this is unacceptable. You know, you imagine waking up one day um, to a load of abuse and being bullied for something that you have not done. That's not fair. Um, so let's try um, and use my following to at least make some of you think before you post stuff online, before you have conversations with your friends, um, before maybe you go to work, or even some kids out there um, that follow me before you even go to school. Let's think about what we say before we say it. It's okay to hate. It's okay to, 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 to give abuse and react and defend when uh, the people that um, that are guilty. But let's try and keep the word terrorist and um, and Muslims at the same sentence today. Now maybe I'm opening myself up. Maybe I'm opening myself up to lose some followers. But to be honest, if I've got people that follow me that are that fucking stupid and uneducated, um, that want to start saying all Muslims are the fucking same and putting derogatory things on, on, on Facebook and then, then I don't really want them sort of people following me. I don't want to end up in a state like, like America's turn. I don't want to end up in a country like America's um, ended up. We, we don't want that. You know, look at us now. Look at the, look how much we're criticising um, Donald Trump and, uh, and his associates for the, for the rules that he's bringing in and, and the laws. You know, but if we're criticising them, let's not start acting like them. Let's be different. Don't be scared to be different. Don't be scared to have your own opinions. You know, that's what makes that's what makes us special. That's what makes us different from the rest, and that is what makes us British, I think. Um, so again, I'm sorry to hear about your loss, and if you do um, to, to those friends and families that lost somebody last night and if if you do follow me and you know somebody that was either injured last night or lost their lives last night then then my heart goes out to you um but let's make a let's make a special effort today to um you know to maybe bring that muslim in on a conversation at work bring that muslim in on a conversation at school 
maybe go around and uh, see our next door neighbour who has that different faith to us and go and make conversation. Maybe have a conversation about what happened last night. Maybe just ask him what's, what's gone on in the day and, and if, if, if they're okay. You don't know what they're feeling either. Um, I don't really know what else to say, but hopefully, um, hopefully all of you watching have sort of understood the point of the video and what I've tried to say. Sometimes I ramble on a bit and I don't really get to the point, but I hope that the message has sort of got along, got across how I, how I intended. Have a good day, everyone.